Hello students, so here we are with the question 8 of the exercise 4.3 of the chapter quadratic equation. So the question 8 is a train travels 360 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 km per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. So in order to find the speed of the train, let the speed be x kilometer per hour as it's been not given so we just assume any variable say x in this case for the speed then time what will be the time taken for the journey it will be 360 by x because as we know the relation between the speed distance and time is speed is equal to distance divided by time and as we need to find the time, so it will be distance divided by speed and the distance to be covered is 360 km and the speed is x. So time required to cover the journey will be 360 by x hours. So it's also been given that if the speed had been 5 km per hour more means now we have increased the speed with 5 number that is earlier it was x kilometer per hour now it's x plus 5 kilometer per hour so this is the speed of the train now then time taken by the train for the same journey will be 360 by x plus 5 hours right that is this is will be the time taken by the train if its speed have been increased by 5 as it was before so now it also says that if the speed had been 5 km per hour more it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey means the difference between the time before and now when the increase in speed is 5 is equals to 1 hour which is less than that is this time is less than the time taken before so means 360 by x is greater than 360 by x plus 5. So we will be writing 360 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 which is equal to 1. As 1 hour less time has been taken when the increase in speed is 5. So now taking the LCM it will be 360 into x plus 5 minus 360x divided by x into x plus 5 is equal to 1 or I can write it as 360x plus 1800 minus 360x is equal to x square plus 5x that is on cross multiplying the term on simplifying I will be getting x square plus 5x minus 1800 is equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation being formed for this question. Now the next step will be to solve this quadratic equation and as we know the quadratic equation can also be solved by using the quadratic formula. So comparing this quadratic equation with the standard one, one the value for a will be 1, b will be equal to 5 that is the coefficient of x and C which is the constant term is minus 1800. Now substituting these value of A, B and C in the quadratic formula here the variable X will be equal to minus 5 plus minus root 7225 divided by 2 or it will be minus 5 Taking the square root of 7225 comes out to be 5 into 17 divided by 2. This means x can be equal to minus 5 plus 7 into 50, 5 comes out to be equal to divided by 2 and the another one will be minus 5 minus 85 divided by 
2. So on solving, this will be equal to 80 by 2 and another root will be minus 90 by 2. Or I can also write it as 40 and minus 45. So, means the speed of the train is either 40 km per hour or minus 45 km per hour. But we know the speed can only be the positive quantity. So, the root here will be definitely be 40 km per hour. So, this will be the speed of the train which on increasing the speed by 5 reduces the time by 1 km. I hope this question is clear to all of you.